Hey, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel for a series of Bridget Bordeaux hairstyles that are perfect for the holidays and it is sponsored by OGX. I am an OG expert this year and if you've been watching my channel for a while, I pretty much use only OGX stylers. I have since they came out. They're my favorite and my current shampoo and conditioner is these gorgeous purple bottles. It is the Extra Strength, Extra Volume plus Biotin and Collagen Shampoo and Conditioner. As part of the Spread the Love campaign, I'm doing a giveaway for my Canadian viewers. So if you're from Canada and you want to enter to win the shampoo and conditioner as well as all the stylers I use plus more, be sure to click the link down below and enter. If you're new to my channel, I post pop culture tutorials every week or looks inspired by different decades. And I love it when you guys tag me on Instagram so I can feature you in my videos. And let's get started with these hairstyles. So as I mentioned, I've already washed my hair with the OGX Extra Strength, Extra Volume plus Biotin in Collagen Shampoo and Conditioner, and this one is for volume. The formula has vitamins and proteins to plump up flat strands, and I especially love the smell of the conditioner. And I was freaking out this morning because everything in my apartment was staticky. I have static guard, dryer sheets, but with hair, I find taking a bit of conditioner and running it through your dry strands makes static go away, so if you're struggling with static, that's a tip you can try out. Anyways, with this half up, half down tousled look, I'm quickly curling my hair with a one inch curling wand. And I have it on a lower setting. I'm not going for perfect curls, but I do want some texture. And I curled mainly towards my face, but a couple away from the face. And once we have that complete, pick up a section by your ear and spray the OGX Bamboo and Fiber Full Big Hairspray and back comb through the entire section. Then roll up the ends into a mini bun and add this to the crown of your head. You want that first piece of hair to swipe upwards into the bun, like this inspiration photo. Pinning in place, and these messy buns will be the base of the style, so I'm going to do it on the other side as well. Create a loop and pin, and we're going to do this a couple more times, but neater on top. Really, the first step was giving the bobby pins something to wedge into and volume without teasing the whole crown section. I like to do as little teasing as possible so it's super easy to brush out and that's why I love the OGX Bamboo Fiberful Big Hairspray. It really locks in any style but it doesn't feel crunchy and brushes out very easy. And for some extra height, I'm taking a front section, creating a neater loop going towards my face just wrapping around my fingers and then pinning the center of it down. One more time, teasing a bit and pinning the loop right behind it. And now we have a similar shape to Bridget's updo. This is giving me Elizabeth Swan vibes, but with the bangs, it will really transform into a Bardot look. I find faux bangs are usually pretty thick, so it looks best to have more of a look that has tons of volume at the top so that they don't look out of place. And there is this messy sexy look with the 60s Bridget Bardot vibe. And the next look is super super easy, so we're doing some holiday pigtails. With your hair in a center part, pick up a couple small sections above your ear and do a bit of teasing at the top. I did these same steps with these boho 70s inspired braids and I love how the height just frames the face. Completely optional to bring in bangs, of course. You don't have to with any of these looks, but I feel like curtain bangs are super popular and that a lot of you guys might have those. So I thought it would be cute and I felt very Bridget meets Birkin here. For the pigtails so that they sit higher, split your hair gently in half and do a quick little twist towards your face. Fluff up the top and then gather the bottom. This just creates a little bit of a perky effect. To recreate this iconic photo, I added some red ribbon with this cozy red sweater. And because of the height and more mature makeup, I don't think this looks too young, but if you wanna go a little bit more subtle, I would go with skinny black ribbons instead of the big red bows. And something I wanted to try was to create a bit of a crimp texture at the bottom like her pigtails. So I took this flat iron and did an S-bend through a couple of the strands. And then I'm using a different styler this is the OGX Natural Finish plus Aspen Extract Texture Dry Texture Finishing Spray. And this has a flexible hold while adding in a weightless texture, perfect for creating volume as well.
Before I get into the last holiday style, this is kind of a bonus look that is great if you need to wash your hair, or maybe you styled your hair the day before and have some leftover teasing in. Just take a black headband from the drugstore, they always sell these for like working out, and just add this over your forehead and ears, and then you can even out your teasing at the top, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but styled with sleek makeup and a striped top gives that chic Parisian look that also has an undone style. A quick idea I wanted to throw in, and now we have the final style that I'm obsessed with. I've been styling my hair all week for this video, so to refresh my hair, I'm using the OGX of Biotin and Collagen Dry Shampoo, and again, this is infused with a natural rich blend of vitamin B, biotin, and collagen. It absorbs any excess oil and really defies gravity for tons of volume, so this collection is one of my favorites. And with this style, create a center part again and leave out two front sections that we'll use as faux bangs. I'm not doing clip-ins this time. And with the rest of the hair, add into a high ponytail at the crown. And if you have any bumps, this look, it's fine to just comb them up to the base of the ponytail because the hair will be wrapped over the surrounding pony anyways. I'm creating the bangs first by giving them a slight bump with a curling iron, lightly teasing so the hair doesn't separate, and then lightly twisting and pinning by the ear. Once this is in place by the ear, you can lift those sections and add them to your ponytail so that it doesn't get moved around once the bangs are in place. Totally reminds me of Audrey as well. And this bun is way easier than it looks. Take half the ponytail and tease to create a base for the updo. You want to really tease this so you have lots of um, volume to work with. And it's time to style. So there are four main sections. A middle section two teased curls that fall towards the bangs, and then the back we want to smooth over the teased base. It's easiest to break it down like this on yourself, so take a curling iron and create a curl. Let it cool and then tease this and pin it over the teased base in the center. Curl towards yourself for the desired curl pattern and let the two sides drape over showing more of the curl and just bobby pin in a couple places to make sure it stays. Just follow every move Touch me Let me know you want it to Don't have what you need And I created a big loop just to shorten my length and give it some detail. I added some shine serum to these curls because we do have quite a bit of teasing and I wanted to bring in some of that softness back. Adding a hair accessory and if you want you can go with a little black bow here as well. And here's another version of a Bridget Bardot bun I did like years ago. I've done a couple different styles like this on my channel so I wanted to revisit because the Bardo looks are so iconic. And the pop culture passcode today is gonna be je t'aime because it's a French phrase we all know. After a long week of heat styling, I love to use the OGX Extra Strength Damage Remedy and Coconut Miracle Oil on my hair. This smells so creamy and coconutty like you're on an island and I really rely on this to keep my hair hydrated and smooth. So if you love to style your hair, this mask is a must and it's so fun to treat yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and got lots of inspiration from it. If you wanna keep on watching, I do have a Bridget Bardot makeup look on my channel. And maybe if you wanna do something a little bit more modern but keep it 60s, check out this recent Ariana Grande look that I just uploaded and I'll see you in my next video.